Hey everyone, Ray here. It is so important for a smartphone to have a microSD card slot. This is not my thought, obviously, but people's reaction to the S6 and the Note 5 told us. While they were using an, well, iPhone. Anyway, if you are one of those people who are super care about microSD expansion, have you ever thought of the class, the speed, and the quality of the card itself? Not only will a slow card take you longer to transfer media files like photos, music, and videos, but also slow down your device if you have moved apps and games, or even formatted the card as part of a system ROM storage, especially for flagship phones like the HTC 10. So here we have all the classes and the respective specifications. Basically, those affordable and low price oriented cards are class 4 based on my experience. And for class 10, things become a little bit more complicated. Above class 10, we have UHS 1 and 2, also grade 1 and 3. Just forget about UHS 2 up to this point. They are expensive, 200 bucks for just a memory card. For this more popular one, it's actually a class 10 U1 graded card with just 20 megabytes per second write speed. And this one, also class 10 U3, but just 40 megabytes per second write speed. And the one we have here today is also a class 10 U3 card, but with a stunning 90 megabytes per second write speed. So just pay attention to those numbers before you buy one of them. Sometimes even though they are classed the same, but the actual specifications may not be the same. It comes with an adapter as usual, so nothing special here, but I kind of like this one, it looks sleek and clean. If you are going to transfer massive files up to like 10GB, I would recommend you to take out the card and transfer them via your PC directly, due to the limitation of micro USB 2.0. It would be much better if you are using a phone with USB 3.1, not just a reversible Type-C port. But yeah, I was able to achieve around 70 to 80 megabytes per second. How fast is that? You are nearly enjoying the speed of a HDD hard drive or close to the internal storage of an eMMC 5.1 based phone. So as you guys can see here, the first time we launch Hearthstone, you have to wait for the unsaving process. Now the speed of the card will heavily affect the loading time. The first round, which is this one, I just simply installed the app on the internal storage. It took around 22 seconds. And the second round, I moved the app to the SD card before I launched it. It took around 20 seconds, even faster than using the internal storage, which is absolutely unbelievable and amazing. So this is why we have to pair our new phones with a top-notch, super-fast card in order to achieve maximum performance. Now if you are using a Samsung Android device like me, you can't format the SD card as part of a system, but you can still head to Settings, Applications and click any third-party app that you would like to move to the SD card. Then click Storage, you will see a Change button here if the app supports app to SD. Now change to SD card. As we have already tested, the super fast card will not affect the loading time that much. So yeah, just move what you want. The only problem is when you take out the card, you won't be able to use them. You will have to insert that back in. They'll simply go back to life. Oh mind you, 4K recording is simply a breeze. So this is the Samsung Pro Plus microSD card with 95 megabytes per second read and 90 megabytes per second write speed. It would be a super fast card that is still kind of affordable for people who are already using a Note 7, not an iPhone.